What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Place here. Guys, the NFL season is about to end as the Super Bowl is this Sunday. But thanks to the XFL, football doesn't necessarily have to end just yet, guys. The XFL is about to kick off February 8th. So in this video, we are going to preview the XFL, the teams, the jerseys, and some of the key players you might have heard in the past who are playing for the XFL. So let's just dive right into it, guys. First up, we got the Dallas Renegades. And guys, I like the logo. I like kind of the bandit logo there, and I love the baby blue helmet, and the jerseys are pretty slick. As far as the coaching staff for the Dallas Renegades, they are led by head coach Bob Stoops, former Oklahoma coach. The Renegades have quarterback Landry Jones, former Oklahoma quarterback who played under Bob Stoops. So that will be very interesting as they have now had over four years of experience coaching together. One of the running backs for the Renegade is Cameron Artis Payne, former Auburn running back out of the SEC. So have wide receiver Jeff Baddett out of Oklahoma and former safety out of Tennessee, Micah Abernathy. Next up, we have the DC Defenders. And while the logo is very simplistic and the jerseys are pretty simple, I think it's a very good, clean look. Head coach for the D.C. Defenders is Pep Hamilton, former offensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. Tyree Jackson, quarterback from Buffalo. Wide receivers, Eli Rogers from Louisville. Another big quarterback for the Defenders is quarterback Cardale Jones, formerly out of Ohio State. At safety, they have Matt Elam out of the University of Florida. Next up, guys, we have the Houston Roughnecks in what I think is the best logo by far in the XFL. It's almost a throwback to the Houston Oilers. You got the big H, but it's right there uh, resembling a Oiler, so I love that. And then you have the Chrome Helmets, so I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the chrome helmets, but I think everything kind of goes well together. And I think it's a pretty cool look. Their head coach is June Jones, formerly the head coach one year for the Los Angeles Chargers in 1998. And also was the head coach for the Atlanta Falcons through 1994 and 96. Former wide receiver out of Auburn, Sammy Coates. Former quarterback out of Temple, P.J. Walker. Former quarterback out of Michigan State, Connor Cook and former defensive end from Missouri, Coney Ely. Next up, guys, we have the LA Wildcats, and I have to say this is probably the worst uniforms, I think, in the XFL. Something about black, red, and orange just, to me, just does not clash well. But, you know, who knows? Maybe you like it. Their head coach is Winston Moss, formerly a linebacker's coach at the Green Bay Packers. Some of their key players assist of quarterback Josh Johnson, formerly from San Diego. Kicker Nick Novak from Maryland. Trey McBride, wide receiver from William & Mary. Ladarius Wiley, safety from Vanderbilt. Sorry, had to do it, I'm a Vandy guy. All right guys, the next team we're gonna cover is the New York Guardian, and I by far think these are the best uniforms in the XFL. Something about black, silver, and red just meshes very well. I think the logo of the lion looks very good. Their head coach is Kelvin Gilbride, who was a former head coach of the Chargers from 97 to 98, and also have been a offensive coordinator for the Houston Oilers, Jacksonville Jaguars, Pittsburgh Steelers, Buffalo Bills, and the New York Giants. Some of their key players assist of quarterback Luis Perez from Texas A&M Commerce. He was a big quarterback in the AAF. Quarterback Matt McGloin, former from Penn State. And wide receiver Mikael McKay out of Cincinnati. Guys, when I look through this roster, there's not a whole lot of key guys who stand out. But that doesn't mean that they won't be a really good football team. We'll just have to see how it all comes together. Next up, guys, we've got the St. Louis Battle Hawks. As you all know, St. Louis lost the Rams, so it's good to see them get some sort of football team back in St. Louis. And their uniforms are pretty slick. I love the logo with the sword and the wings outside of the sword. And as far as their jerseys are concerned, very clean, but I think it's all topped off by an incredible logo design with the helmets, with the sword down the middle of the helmet and the wings on the outside. The St. Louis Battlehawks head coach is Jonathan Hayes. 
He was formerly the Cincinnati Bengals tight ends coach from 2003 through 2018. So he has just decided to leave the Bengals to become a head coach for the first time in his career. Some of their key players are wide receiver LaDamian Washington, formerly of Missouri. Quarterback Nick Fitzgerald from Mississippi State. Quarterback Jordan Tamu from Mississippi. Running back Matt Jones from Florida. And running back Christine Michael from Texas A&M. Next up, we've got the Seattle Dragons. And this is a very unique logo. You don't see too many dragon type logos out there. But with the color design and the uniforms, it is very out there. The Seattle Dragons head coach is Jim Zorn. He was the former head coach of the Washington Redskins through 2008-2009. Wide receiver Williams Kaysen out of Washington. Quarterback B.J. Daniels out of South Florida. Wide receiver Keenan Reynolds out of Navy. Last but not least, guys, we have the Tampa Bay Vipers. And guys, you talk about a uniform that has colors that's normally not used it's the tampa bay vipers with a light green and a dark green and a yellow combination their jerseys and uniforms really pop and while i do like their logo of just the v with the fangs inside the v the the jerseys are a bit of a clash for me but you know i'll let you be the judge of that one their head coach is mark tressman and he has bounced back from the canadian football league to the nfl back to the canadian football league and now with the xfl he was the head coach for the Montreal Alouettes from 2008 and 2012. Then was with the Chicago Bears from 2013 through 2014 as their head coach. Quarterback slash running back Quentin Flowers from South Florida. Quarterback Aaron Murray from Georgia. Davion Smith, running back from Michigan. All right, guys, so week one is getting ready to start on Saturday, February 8th. And here's the week one schedule we've got for you. Week 1, the opening kickoff of the XFL is between the Seattle Dragons and the DC Defenders. That will kick off at 1 p.m. Central Time on ABC. And then you got the LA Wildcats versus the Houston Roughnecks at 4 p.m. Central Time on Fox. And then Sunday, February 9th, the Tampa Bay Vipers take on the New York Guardians at 1 p.m. Central Time. And then at 4 p.m. Central Time, we have the St. Louis Battlehawks facing the Dallas Renegades on ESPN. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video as we just previewed a little bit going into the XFL. I'm excited for it. Kicks off February 8th at 2 p.m. Central Time Saturday. And guys, we're going to cover it on this channel as well. We're going to be able to do some live watch long play-by-plays and we'll kind of have some recaps going throughout the year as well, guys. So I'm pumped and I hope you're pumped for the XFL. America needs more football, and I will always sign up for more football, guys. But I appreciate you watching. If you would, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the Coach Plays channel, consider doing so, guys. But until next time, peace.